Dr. Ambrujoli arrived here in Kalong in 1956 and he dedicated the whole of his life until March 27, 1987, when he finally died and went back to the Lord. We are flashing back, we are looking back at the life of this humble servant, humble, dedicated, loving servant of God. He was a priest and a missionary who dedicated his life here to serve the sick. He used his professionalism to bring healing after the command of Jesus Christ to his disciples, go out to the whole world, preach, heal the sick, and raise the dead. This is what Dr. Ambrosioli did while he was here in this hospital. When he arrived here in 1956, Kalon was just a dispensary being run by the Komboni sisters. And you know, Father Dr. Joseph Ambrosioli came from a very wealthy home. But seeing the needs here, the suffering of the people here on the ground, this humble servant of God raised the dispensary of Calon to the statue of a hospital, which now has a capacity, I think, of 300 beds, you know, treating the sick. He was first of all a man of faith. He's a martyr, a martyr is the one who witnesses to the faith in Jesus Christ the Savior. He was a very, very prayerful man and also very intelligent but very humble. He used his intelligence, his professionalism to bring hope, to bring healing to the sick here in this poor area. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear listener, this is Archbishop John Baptist Odama of Gulu announcing to you the good news, the beatification of Father Dr. Ambrosoli Joseph, which is supposed to be on the 20th of November 2022 at Kalongo Parish. We are blessed that this beatification is taking place in our Archdiocese of Gulu. It was supposed to be in Rome, but Pope Francis decided that such event should take place in the area where the blessed to be has worked, so that his life can inspire the people of the area to holiness of life. We are blessed not only for the Archdiocese of Gulu, Uganda, for Africa, but for the whole world and for the whole Catholic Church in general and for humanity. May this celebration truly profit us. Oh,